Now the race for the White House. Donald Trump escalating that war of words with the Clintons as a new national poll shows Trump edging out Hillary Clinton in a tight race. ABC's Tom Yamas has the latest. Good morning, Tom. Robin, good morning to you. And Donald Trump already tweeting about that apparent plane crash this morning. But the big political story right now, what Donald Trump said last night about Bill Clinton and the Clinton campaign already saying this is a classic Trump move. Say something outrageous to detract from the issues. Overnight, while We're defending his record with women, and, uh, Donald Trump launching his most severe attack really yet against Hillary Clinton and her husband. How do you compare that against Clinton, okay, yeah. what Clinton's done? During an interview with Fox News' Sean Hannity, Trump suggests President Bill Clinton raped a woman after Hannity names women who have brought allegations against the former president. Are they going to interview Juanita Broderick? Are they going to interview Paula Jones? Are they going to interview Kathleen Willey? In one case, it's about exposure. In another case, it's about groping and fondling and touching against a woman's will. And rape. And rape. Should and that big settlements, massive settlements. Trump not done there. You know, he lost his law license, okay? Uh, couldn't practice law. And you don't read about this on Clinton. The Clinton campaign firing back, suggesting Trump was attacking because he felt, quote, wounded, saying after a week of still refusing to release his taxes and likening Oakland and Ferguson to the dangers in Iraq, of course he wants to change the subject. And the Democrats dealing with their own created drama as Bernie Sanders stands his ground against critics who say he did not go far enough to denounce scenes like this. <laughs> Chaos in Nevada. His supporters angry over delegate counts at a state convention. Violence is absolutely unacceptable. Harassing individuals is unacceptable. Who am I going back to? Who's going back to? Now, we mentioned earlier that Donald Trump has tweeted about the breaking news we've been following throughout the, the broadcast, that plane crash. Trump tweeting, looks like yet another terrorist attack. Airplane departed from Paris. When will we get tough, smart, and vigilant? Great hate and sickness.